Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Eureka channel. Today we're working on module five, lesson number three. And don't remember, don't forget, today is Friday, January 8, 2021. Let's see, what are we doing today, boys and girls? So remember that our daily goal is to score an 85 or higher in, in, in the work that we submit because our big goal is to, uh, to score 100 on the end of modules. What are the materials that we need for today? You need no materials for the video. You're gonna, you're gonna use a peer deck link for the live class and a peer deck link for the homework. So make sure you're ready. What are our expectations, boys and girls? Remember, like always, sit tall, have your materials ready and park, actively participate by doing your work, and ask for clarifying questions. If you do not know how to do a problem, it's extremely important that you raise your hand and say, Miss, I need help. I don't know how to do this. Make sure you raise your hand. If you have a question or a comment, or you would love to share something, and that you always stay on mute and only unmute yourself when you're called on, boys and girls. So, don't forget that if you work really hard in Hotspot, it's really going to help you in your math class. So, what are the key, the main concepts that we are learning in today's lesson? In module, number, in module number four and module number five, we've been learning about the place value, boys and girls. We learn about the ones, the tens, and the hundred. And we learn, we're going to learn about addition and subtraction. So what are the steps that we need to follow? We need to do today the key points for the error way. So let's go over the example. If you have to solve 35 plus 20, the first thing that you do is you start with the first number and decide which num units are you either going to add or subtract. So let's see. In this case, I am adding. That tells me that I need to get 20 more. So first number, here it is. I need to get all the way to 20. So the first time, way I can do it is first I add 10 because I know that 35 plus 10 equals to 45. I need to get all the way to 20 and I have not gotten there. So key point number two says add until the stopping number. So you know that I started with 35. I added 10 more, so that gave me 45. So 45 plus 10 more gives me 55, boys and girls. So what is our objective, our objective for today? Today, you can add multiples of 100 and some tens within a thousand, boys and girls. Let's see how that looks like. So remember that today we are solving some addition problems using the arrow way. And the arrow way is a strategy that you use to solve an addition problem that helps you work a quick 10. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my pen and I am going to choose the color blue. So listen, what's 420 plus 100? Yes, 420 plus 100 gives me 520. Great job. So I want you to think about that. Because now... 420 plus 100 plus 10 is, so let's see, 
420 plus 100 gives me 520. Now, 520 plus 10 is... Yes, 530. Now, boys and girls, how much did we add in all? Think about it. How much did we add in all? Yes, we added 110. Look, first is the number that goes here. I added 100. Then I added 10. So, in total, I added 110. So, boys and girls, it's your turn to say the complete number sentence for the problem. Are you ready? Go. Yes, if you said 420 plus 110 equals 530, you're absolutely right, boys and girls. Look at this. I solved this problem in a complete number sentence and this shows the same problem in an error way. So let's talk about the steps in adding 110 to 420. Are you ready? The first thing we did is I added 100. Look over here, boys and girls. I added 100. Then I added 10. It's like, look over here, boys and girls. I broke apart the number 110 into 100 and 10. So this number is the first number that I added. The other 10 is this other number that I added. I broke it apart, 110 into two parts. Then we added each one to make it easier. Great job, boys and girls. Let's see if we can solve another problem. Ready? So, let's try another one. So, let's think. What's 550 plus 200? Tell me the answer. Yes, boys and girls, 750. Remember what I told you, when your ones and tens don't change, the only thing that changes is 100. It's very easy. So we know that 550 plus 200 equals 750. I'm solving it here in a number sentence, and I'm solving it on the bottom in the airway. Now, 550 plus 200 plus 50 is? Yes, boys and girls, if you said 800, you're absolutely right. We have 750 plus 50 equals to 800. So I'm going to write the 800 here. 
Now that you now you know that 550 plus 250 equals to 800. Remember, these are number sentence. This is the airway. Now let's add another 10. Now we have. Get ready. Yes. 810. So I'm going to write it right here. 810. And I'm going to, I want you to say the whole problem that we just worked in a number sentence. Your turn to say it. Go. Yes. 550 plus 260 equals 810, boys and girls. Let's talk about it. Tell me what just happened. If you said that we started with 550, then we added 200, and then we added another 50 to make 800, then we added 10 more to get to 810. Boys and girls, how much did we add in all? Get ready. Yes, if you said 260, you're absolutely right. And where did you get that 260 from? Yes, this numbers that are right here are the ones that are being added. Great job. Thank you, boys and girls. So you're going to have practice some more problems like this in your life class. Remember, when you're working in peer deck, you can just do an arrow, a line. So you can do it like this. I'm going to use the pencil. And I write 550, you write a line, and that is like, that represents the arrow. And I write just plus 200, and then I write the answer here. Okay, boys and girls, so you don't make the little lines. If you just put a little line on top, that represents the arrow. Okay, boys and girls. Let's work the last problem together, still using the arrow way. So we have 590 plus 240. I noticed something interesting about the first number. Do you see it? What do you guys think it is? Yes, boys and girls, if you said that 590 is close to 600, you're right. It's just 10 away from 600, right? So I can make the next 100 to solve the problem. So today, and with this problem, I'm going to show you how I want you to use the key points and the peer deck. So first thing, I don't have the text here, but I click on the text and I write 5. 190, which is the starting number. I make a little line which represents the arrow, right? Then I write 10 because 590 plus 10 gives me 600. And 600 is a very friendly number that can help me solve the problem. 
What do you guys think I should do now? If I am adding 240 boys and girls. What should I do next? Yes, I can add the hundreds now. So I make my little line. 600 plus 100 gives me, yes, 700. Remember, the numbers that go on the arrow are the ones that we're adding up to. Am I already at the 240? Nope. Great job. I'm going to make another little line. 700 plus 100 gives me, yes, boys and girls, 800. Am I already at 240? No, I have 100, and I have another 100 that gives me 200, and I have 10, so that gives me 210. How many more do I need to get to 240? Yes, boys and girls, I need 30 more Great thinking. So I make my little line that represents the arrow plus 30 and 800 plus 30 gives me, yes, 830. So Let's see, boys and girls. Remember, the numbers that are on the arrow is when you add those numbers, they have to equal this. So 100, I mean 10 plus 100 plus 100 plus 30 gives me 240. Great job, boys and girls. We just solved this problem together. You're going to work some more problems like this in class, so make sure you're ready. You have a little bit of time, so you can go to the restroom, drink water, so you are ready for the class. Have a nice day, and we'll see you later. Bye.